Welcome back to Collector's Therapy, and I have another impulse buy right here. It's a very large box. I'm excited because I've wanted the XM Green Goblin ever since I've seen a live unboxing of it. So let's skip all the chit chat and let's get to it. Okay, so you know you have an awesome and killer statue when you are getting blown away by all the pieces just from unwrapping them. So let's get started, guys. This is Green Goblin's glove and what almost looks like some batarangs. Love those folds. We have part of what looks like a part of the Goblin Glider. What I really like is all those little specks. I'm pretty sure those are painted on. I didn't get this used, so I was almost wondering if it was uh, dirty, but I'm pretty sure all of that is painted. Really like his little bag. This is completely sculpted all throughout there. That is sculpted. This right here is a little bit of mixed media it does kind of have a leathery texture to it. You have one of his pumpkin bombs. Man, I just love the folds. That is awesome. Got a part of his arm, and I love the scaly texture. That is just really, really well done. And here is a view of one of his full hands, along with the scaly, you know, scaly texture and just the glove and arm. This is a really, really cool addition. You know, this is gonna snap into for one of his hands where he is holding the Green Goblin uh, mask, which will most likely be used for that Norman Osborn uh, portrait, but that, that is just a really, really cool. So these are gonna be part of the base, I believe just has this kind of woody texture. These are sculpted. Okay. I have no idea what these pieces are or what they go to. I haven't even really unwrapped that. Oh, we got a little, a little rat. <laughs> We've got the Norman Osborn portrait, which that hair is straight out of the comics. And this, of course, is that Green Goblin, the classic Green Goblin portrait. I love how much that green pops against the purple. And whoa, <laughs> look at that stitching. That, that is awesome. So you've got some smoke all around here. And then, of course, more smoke that I think will plug into the bottom of the Goblin Glider. I am super pumped to look at this because this is awesome. Just look at that sculpture. I love the folds. This is just another reason I'm always going to prefer sculpted over mixed media. That just looks super detailed. I love the folds. It's just awesome. Okay, XM, you have just really outdone yourself with this this look at that base you got this little rainbowish tint to part of uh i believe that's where his uh glider will kind of hook into you've got some rocky and wood and brick base this thing is freaking massive and you've got the sewer down there that's where that rat goes and Look at this hefty, hefty fella. You know, wow. And of course, the green pops just as much here as it did on that portrait. We have another part of the Goblin Glider, and of course, it's got that little Spider Man web. And there is the rest of the Goblin Glider, and of course, 
I was lucky enough to get the Green Goblin uh, little display stands. I, I don't know where to start, guys. <laughs> We've got the base here uh, on my little turntable. So, yes, I'm a little overwhelmed on where to start, but I think starting with the Goblin Glider is going to be the best bet. And the other part of the Goblin Glider has the little red circle as well. Okay, easy enough. That just locked in right there. So the second glider with the spider webs just locks in like so. Where's this guy gonna go? Not too bad. Assembly wise so far and dude this guy's massive holy crap Wow <laughs> If you have this piece you probably know what I'm going through right now But this is my first time seeing this in person. So this this is awesome There we go there. There we go. That was a very easy fit. And so was that. Or you can do the little pumpkin bomb. No, you can't. Here we go. You do the pumpkin bomb. I like that. that that's awesome. All right, so I had to check out that XM official assembly video because these pieces of wood were pretty difficult to figure out where they go without that guide. So they snap in just like that, magnetized. There's one with a little peg right there, as you can see. Come on, go in. And then this little sucker was really hard. There's a little peg under there and it just magnetizes in. What do you know? And this, this little piping is what those little pieces were for earlier. And here's Mr. Mr. Mouse. Say hello everybody. So this is an, a huge base. I, I don't really know where to start but wow. So of course you've got the smoke from the goblin glider and man this this is some really well done smoke usually i don't like smoke and explosions but this is pretty well done honestly um, you go around and here is that part of the glider with the spider-man webbing really nice and you've got some scratches on there too. That is just yet another thing that I love about XM. You know, they have some great damage that they do to some of their pieces. You got some more scratches there. And you got that little buddy, which you hook in first, of course. And you've got Mr. Green Goblin himself. Man, this detail. I love the paint, the purple, and the folds, and I'm just going to keep saying that over and over. But let's just spin around some more uh, nice brick texture. Yeah, I think y'all have kind of seen that. I really love that rainbowish kind of effect with the explosion and the fire and the smoke. We're gonna make our way up, and you have his hand right there. And there is the Green Goblin himself. Man, this, this is awesome. I love it. And his backpack actually hooks in to the back. And of course, you have that little smoke part. Just goes on to the pumpkin like so. And here is that green, or sorry, um, 
Norman Osborn portrait with the Green Goblin mask. That is pretty dang cool. But I think I just prefer the, um, the regular Green Goblin head sculpt. But let's just make sure you get all the details that you can. Again, just incredible sculpting job by XM. This is awesome. Beady eyed little guy. So, yes, this, that's, that is the angle that you are going to want to display him. So, yes, that, that is perfect to me. You got the, the pumpkin bomb, you've got him with classic Green Goblin mask and costume and on that glob Goblin glider. This is epic, epic piece. Last thing I want to do is take this off. Come on, buddy. And you can also display him like so. But I definitely prefer the Goblin. Or sorry, not the Goblin, but the pumpkin bomb. So yes, this was worth every penny and it's even more incredible than I was expecting. Cause like I said at the beginning, I've wanted this guy since I've seen a live unboxing of him. Just the base is just incredible. I love how big <laughs> the goblin glider is just with all know the smoke and the fire he got the webbing it is just awesome guys and ladies and I love the how much the green pops on him so I don't know the most about Norman Osborn Green Goblin most of what I know is going to come from you know the uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie I have recently been reading the original Amazing Spider-Man, so I have been reading his first appearance. Um, haven't quite got into Volume 2 yet. I've just been reading that Volume 1 stuff with all those first appearances. But yeah, I'm very, very excited to learn more about the Green Goblin, his origins. You know, of course I do... I have read The Death of Gwen Stacy. Spoiler alert, guys. Of course, you know, Green Goblin was involved in that. But that's been a few years since I've uh, read that story. But I've been reading volume one of that original Stan Lee run. And man, I just love <laughs> this piece. I think he would look pretty good up there on the top shelf next to Doc Ock. I don't know. It's gonna be hard to get him up there, but we may just have to see what he looks like up there. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, you know. To me, this, this blows the sideshow one out of the water, you know, just, it's so more expansive you know the base is just so much more detailed the glider you know just looks way bigger um, from the pictures that i've seen of the sideshow the smoke and fire over here just looks awesome and way better than i was picturing you know the the sideshow is very smoky so that's really why i really wanted this and if I've said it once, I've said it a billion times in this video, but I love the the purple folds all throughout his costume. That That is just awesome. This guy, if you can pick him up, most definitely get him. He is got to be a must-have in anyone's um, Spider-Man collection, but let alone if you are collecting the XM Spidey line. This, this is a must-have. So, let me know, what is your favorite Green Goblin story? Because I'm 
like I say, I'm reading The Amazing Spider-Man, and I'm just kind of wanting to get as much of that early stuff as I can so I can really see, um, you know, because I know Green Goblin kind of, he goes insane, or Norman Osborn goes kind of cuckoo and insane at some point in the story, so I'm very excited to uh, read that. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This has been an incredible time unboxing this awesome killer piece let me know what you think drop a comment like the video subscribe whatever you want to do that's awesome but thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys next time